Hey guys, what's up? So I uh, got this new toolbox from my truck. Um, because it's a single cab, it doesn't have quite a lot of storage in the uh, in the cab, obviously. So I wanted something I could put, you know, like my backpack and stuff like that in. So I got this toolbox, and uh, it's in pretty decent shape. Um, the pistons are still halfway good. Came with this tray. Um, this is something I bought some J hooks to uh, tie it down with. Um, but I mean, it's not in bad shape for what I paid for it. Um, it is an 09. But uh, yeah, the, the only thing I complained about was the uh, the finish wasn't all that nice. Um, it's going to spot right there, too. But I mean, that's no big deal. Uh, bought some of this stuff to clean it up and uh, cleaned it and actually it turned out worse this it wasn't quite this bad for all these little dots everywhere but I uh, cleaned it up and then they popped up everywhere so I was like no big deal I kind of wanted to uh, have a black toolbox anyways so so currently I'm in the uh, process of undercoating my truck and uh, while I was at Lowe's today picking up some more undercoat, I uh, was thinking about this toolbox and I was like, hmm, I guess I'll try this stuff. I mean, I've tried it before on lots of things, like uh, I've uh, painted my fender flares on my Jeep with this stuff and uh, some other projects. So I thought, well, maybe if I put it on here, you know, it should work. So I also picked up some denatured alcohol to rub this down with and everything and uh, clean it up. And I picked up one of these. Um, I'm hoping to scuff this up some to help the uh, bedliner adhere to it better. Um, so yeah, this is what we're going to try. Uh, I'm going to drill out these pop rivets on the emblems here and get those out of the way so I can paint it. And we're going to try it like that. Uh, tape up the, the latches and everything like that. So let's give this a shot. So I got this one off this side plate. What I'm thinking about doing is going ahead and painting this just black with spray paint, flipping it over and putting it like that, and then putting like some kind of sticker here or something like that. But yeah, one down, two more to go. So before I get to sanding, I'm going to take some of this denatured alcohol and I put it on a rag. And I'm just wiping all this down. Go ahead and get the uh, clean, the rest of the cleaner off here before I start sanding. So what I'm doing now is just taking the sand block, going this way with it. Then once I get all that done, I'm going to go that way with it. And then when I get done with that, I'm going to do swirls. And that will complete the sanding. Now uh, what I'm doing here is after I've uh, washed it down with uh, denatured alcohol one more time, after I got done sanding, I'm going to uh, spray down this self-etching primer right here. I forgot to mention this earlier. Um, I'm going to do the... The bottom of the bed rails and this right here in just regular old spray paint so uh, I'm not really worried about um, and I'm not really worried about it staying on that well because um, it will be on the bottom and you won't be able to see it really easily so uh, I'm just gonna spray paint that no big deal and that self etching primer should help the paint adhere to this without having to sand it so I'm also going to paint the inside so I covered up my stickers that were inside there with the information about my toolbox. Covered up this right here and the uh, rivet holes there on both sides. So after I got all this self-etching primer on here, I'm just going to use some regular black spray paint. Cover the bottoms here. And yeah. So i uh, got a couple good coats on it. That. I ended up not deciding to uh, paint the inside, so I uh, ran some tape all around the outside here. So uh, hopefully that edge will look good right there still. Yeah. So it's finished. Um, I let it set for two days to just make sure everything's good and cured and everything. Um, can see it doesn't really want to flake off or anything.
I, let, I decided to leave this in here, just the aluminum, because uh, putting stuff in it, I figured it'd probably scratch that spray paint pretty easily. And uh, I didn't want to bedline the inside of it either. Um, so it won't really scratch up anything I put in here. So uh, I just left it like that. Um, it did, as you can see, it left a lot of overspray in here that I did not think would happen. But um, it was all over the floor too whenever uh, I was cleaning up. So uh, you might want to put a drop cloth or something like that whenever you go to put this stuff down. Um, also got a little bit of overspray up here, but uh, I think I can clean that up and get rid of that. So yeah, um, turned out pretty good. I'm happy with it. So yeah, it turned out really good. I'm, I'm very happy with it. Uh, what I did was, just to recap, um, this is bed liner, the sides are bed liner, that's bed liner, front, back, but uh, up top here on this ridge here, that is spray paint, and along this right here, spray paint, and uh, yeah, also spray painted the uh, little tray that came in here, just to kind of make it look new. I'm going to go ahead and throw that back in there. All right, so uh, got the toolbox in the truck now. Um, it's been about three weeks since I uh, painted it and everything because uh, I wanted to show you also in the same video how the bed liner is holding up. Um, right now, it's time for the yellow snow in uh, North Carolina. All the pollen's coming down. So, uh, I haven't had a chance to wash this thing, so it's a little bit yellow. But I want to show you right quick um, before I get sidetracked is there is before I get sidetracked I want to show you something that is the only little chip that I have gotten and whenever you zoom out I mean you can't even can't even see it so I'll probably come back with maybe a sharpie touch that up right there but uh, other than that it's held up really good um, there's the old Jeep right there. I'll do an update video on that soon. But yeah, um, add some stickers in here, as well as uh, we had some of this stuff laying around that you put in like cabinets and stuff like that, and uh, toolbox liners. So got that done. Got that. Um, put one of these also over there, and then my uh, tray turned out pretty nice with the paint job on it. But yeah, um, hopefully you enjoyed this video that I've made, and uh, might give us bedline in your uh, truck box a go. Anyways, hope you guys enjoyed the video. I'll see you guys later.